one, we're trying to weigh your promotion based on duty performance in your primary duty as the prime factor, not the sole factor. Uh, so uh, we have to be very cautious of that. Using the Airman Comprehensive Assessment form that we're looking at today, that worksheet, there's a block that talks about uh, how much inter uh, activity you uh, have with volunteerism, uh, for lack of a better term, community involvement. Uh, there's still a, a request and requirement, even Little Brown Book tells us that we should support our community through volunteerism. Uh, so that, that is still going to be an expectation of a whole person concept. We still expect people to get education, their PME, all the things we expect Airmen to do today. That will be weighed as a whole person. However, when you look at uh, the entire performance reporting, how it works today, 135 points available for EPRs, and lack of a better term, everybody's a five. Almost everybody's a five. The percentages, look at the promotion uh, selectees, and nearly all are firewall fives. So that takes, you just might as well get rid of the EPR system in that aspect of the point. So this is gonna try and weigh that out just a little bit differently uh, so airmen can see where they fit uh, more clearly in the, picture, in the promotion picture.